What's up? It's your homeboy, Mr. Cartoon, Tattooer of the Stars, and purveyor of classic cars. Right here in downtown LA, you're watching the Dub Magazine Project. My tattoo style is a, is a mix between Chicano lowrider tattoos and New York graffiti writing smidge of uh, Japanimation in it with uh, vintage old school lettering, gold leaf style. You put all that in a bowl, put some butter and mix it up and you get my style. I feel a lot of things are going forward in tattooing. They have different reality shows. There's different ways to look at it. You can look at it as a positive, you can look at it as a negative. The positive is that it lets more people know about tattoos. It just kind of shows that uh, it's an art form too, you know. The bad part, I guess, is that it spawns all kinds of new tattooers that shouldn't be tattooing. But I, I kind of think that anything that makes it uh, bigger, you know, we can take it uh, more around the world and do more things with it. Now, for me, tattooing is colliding with automotive. Starting to all come together, you know, my graffiti, my, my love for cars, vintage and new European cars. I just always grew up seeing tattoos and, and custom cars. Now I kind of want to just draw on cars again and really make uh, automotive go farther. Instead of a bunch of young kids trying to be tattooers, I want to see them want to be automotive mirrorless and keep this art form alive, you know what I'm saying? This is the 1963 International Milk Truck. I turned it into an ice cream truck. These used to run around in the 60s and deliver milk and, and dairy to people. I just always had a dream of this, this hood ice cream truck, you know? Something that you could do so many murals on. If you did this much work to, to a 63 Impala, it would look ugly. But for this, you can go crazy on it. You can mural everything. I don't know, in my head, man, it just, it just made sense. The true story, deep behind it, you gotta, you gotta meet me in person and I'll tell you the story. I love straight up airbrush on automotive, you know, scuffing the hood of a car and actually airbrushing it. You know, with all the technology and the age of Photoshop and Illustrator, this was done by hand. I got tangerine, put it in my airbrush, and took flight. I still use the same airbrush I used when I was 16. It's a, it's a dinosaur airbrush. I know, I keep it old school, you know, so it's not always the thing you're using, it's who's behind it, you know, you can have the fanciest camera in the world, but you don't know what you're doing with it, you know, a guy with the old raggedy 1950s camera can come up with a better look. 